the text join function joins the text from multiple ranges and or cells and includes a delimiter you specify between each text value that will be joined here is syntax delimiter the first argument is the character that you want to be placed between the cells that you are joining a text string either empty or one or more characters enclosed by double quotes or a reference to a valid text string can be delimiter if a number is supplied it will be treated as text ignore empty the second argument determines what to do when excel encounters an empty cell true ignore empty cells false include empty cells in the resulting string text one first value to be joined can be a text string a cell reference or a range of cells text two optional additional text values to be joined together there can be up to 252 strings that are joined together for example this formula will return it's a small world to join first name and last name in cells b2 and c2 separated by comma and space use the formula displayed specify the delimiter comma and space in the first argument and cell references starting from the third argument to join a vertical list separating the values by a comma semicolon or any other delimiter pass the range as third argument to get a comma separated list that represent wins and losses of each team in a compact form use the formula delimiter comma ignore empty is set to false to include empty cells because we need to show which games were not played text one is the range b2 to b6 text join can also be used to conditionally merge the contents of two or more cells use the if function to evaluate a range of cells and return an array of values that meet the condition to the text one argument of text join the following formula returns all the days in the list where there is an x in column b the separator is a comma and space and blank cells will be ignored the if function checks for an x in column b if x is not found if returns an empty string for that weekday which is ignored by text join when true it is the second argument to separate the joined values with the different delimiters you can supply delimiters as an array constant or input each delimiter in a separate cell and use a range reference for the delimiter argument to get the result in this format title and first name are separated by a period and space and first and middle name are separated by a space while the middle and last name by a comma and space so we include these delimiters in an array constant period space comma and space and get the following formula alternatively you can type the delimiters without quotation marks in some empty cells say a period and a space in h2 and a space in h3 and a comma and space in h4 and use the range dollar h dollar 2 colon dollar h dollar 4 you can see the formula use absolute cell references for the delimiter argument by using this general approach you can merge cell contents in various forms you can use other functions inside text join for example if you want the result in the first name middle initial last name format then use the left function to extract the first character the initial from cell b2 as for the delimiters we put a space between the first name and the middle initial a period and a space between the initial and the last name in a specific case where you are merging text and dates supplying dates directly to a text join formula won't work 
as Excel stores dates as serial numbers, so your formula will return a number representing the date. To fix this, you need to convert the date into a text string before joining it. Use the text function with the desired format code. If you like to merge text in Excel so that each value starts in a new line, use char10 as the delimiter. For example, to get the date on a new line, use the formula. When using line breaks to separate the joined values, you must have the wrap text option enabled for the result to display correctly. To do this, in the Home tab, in the Alignment group, click on Wrap Text. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.